Good morning, everybody. Happy second Sunday of Advent. <clears throat> Just finished my rock march a few minutes ago. Put my rock sack down in the house and out here with a little cool down walk. Warmer today than it has been in a couple of days. And I guess we're getting a big warm up tonight and tomorrow and then back into the freezer again Monday night. The prediction is a high of 50 or 51 tomorrow with a low of 19. So that's going to be quite a swing in temperature. Get everything melting real good and then freeze it solid. <laughs> oh, well. It's a nice day for walking this morning. It was, according to the weather app, 19, which is not a bad temperature. I think I'm going to put my hood up. Now that I'm out here, I'm starting to catch a little bit of a chill. Whew. Kind of an overcast morning. Probably going to get some snow this afternoon and then switching over to rain and then tomorrow back to snow again. <laughs> I guess. I don't know. I don't know exactly what the prediction is and sometimes they're way off. Uh, reminder today about hydration in the wintertime. I've mentioned this before, but a lot of times you think that since you aren't sweating so much, you don't need to drink as much. But uh, <clears throat> your body uses a lot of water to keep your sinuses and your uh, mouth from drying out because obviously, well, maybe not obviously, but colder air is drier. It doesn't doesn't carry as much moisture, and so it's a little harder on your nasal passages and your mouth as you're breathing. <clears throat> In fact, sometimes when it's really cold, um, I guess I never knew what it was exactly, but it's uh, exercise-induced asthma, <clears throat> which really is my uh, throat and nasal passage to get a little bit too dried out, and I have like a little cough and <clears throat> a lot of clearing the throat like I'm doing right now. It's about cold enough today, but uh, since it's overcast and looking like snow there's a little more moisture in the air than uh, it could be at 19. We're in December 2021. It's about time. Now's a good time. Not it's about time. I sound like I'm you know in charge of you or something but now's a good time to start setting your goals for 2022 for physical fitness and whatever else. Um, I try to keep my perspective a little broader than just physical fitness. Of course, my YouTube channel is all about physical fitness and so is my uh, business page, but there is more to life than exercise and uh, eating right. And, you know, we're coming into another holiday season. We just finished Thanksgiving and I enjoyed some, uh, <clears throat> some of the yummy stuff that comes with uh, holiday time. And uh, Christmas is coming, and there's Christmas candy and cookies and all that stuff. And, you know, you, you do what you have to do to maintain your, uh, your caloric intake in an appropriate way. And uh, that's an important thing for us to keep in mind, too. But really, the hydration in the wintertime, that's a big deal. Because you can become dehydrated um, not as quickly as hot weather but you can become dehydrated in, in a pretty short order. And uh, in the wintertime, especially if it's really cold, you know, today was bad enough. You know, if you fell, there were a couple of slippery spots here and there. I, I didn't actually slip, but I, I could see them. I could see the ice underneath the snow because we got a little dusting of snow last night. And, uh, you know, just slow down or step around it if you can. But uh, when it's colder, you know, a slip and fall... Uh, that has a potential to be fatal. <laughs> if you hurt yourself bad enough and you're uh, already sweating, you could uh, go into hypothermia pretty quickly. So, you know, watch your step in the in the winter time and make sure you have, uh, you know, this thing, a cell phone with you, <clears throat> so you can call for help. And I always I got my brightly colored well, it's an undergarment, but it's I I pull it out deliberately 
so that as I'm walking, I'm swinging my arms and this bright yellow is showing and I'm wearing my bright orange hat. And Sunday morning, there's really low traffic around here, but um, I still, you know, t stay to the sidewalks when I can and especially along the main road because I don't want to get hit and I don't like getting splashed with the slush either. <laughs> that'll, that'll cool you off in a hurry when your feet get wet. So, wow, I'm way over... I'm past five minutes now. I better go. Talk to you all later. Bye-bye.